The headwaters of the Rio Portuguese originate in the rugged mountain range north of Ponce, Puerto Rico, with peaks that rise to elevations of over 4,000 feet. During the normal dry season, the river is shallow and scenic, with a flow of about 11 cubic feet per second. When the rainy season begins, the tranquil stream can turn into a raging river in a matter of minutes. This is due to the steep mountain slopes and a very thin soil mantle, which causes rain in the river's watershed to rapidly run off and overflow its banks, causing extensive flooding and damage to the surrounding environment. The town of Ponce has endured frequent flooding resulting in immense human suffering and massive property damage. The soon to be constructed Portuguese Dam will provide the essential protection needed to prevent this catastrophic flooding. The Portuguese Dam site lies in the foothills between the high crest of the central mountains and the low plain of the southern coast on the Portuguese River approximately four miles northwest of Ponce. The topography of this area is hilly with steep slopes rising five to six hundred feet above the river with a heavy growth of timber and brush. The Portuguese Dam is the final phase of the Portuguese and Bucana Rivers project authorized by Congress in 1986. The total flood control and water supply storage project consists of over nine miles of channels 19 drop structures, two debris basins with control structures, and two dams, the Cerrillos Dam that was completed in 1992, and the soon to be constructed Portuguese Dam. The Portuguese Dam is designed as a roller compacted concrete thick arch dam with a maximum height of 220 feet, a maximum thickness of 111 feet at the base, a crest thickness of 35 feet, and a crest length of 1,230 feet. An OG crest spillway, 143 feet wide, is located near the center of the dam and is designed for a maximum spillway discharge of approximately 47,000 cubic feet per second. The maximum operating area will be 72 acres with a maximum flood pool of 215 acres. An important part of the Portuguese dam construction will be the foundation grouting. The foundation consists of fractured and jointed metamorphous sandstone and conglomerates with cross-cutting dikes and shears. Consolidation grouting will be used to firm up the foundation in areas that are weak but not broken at the foundation grade beneath the structure while contact grouting will be used to tie together the upper 20 feet of foundation at the center of the dam and other areas that will be excavated and filled to remove shears or weathered rock at and below foundation grade. In addition, a grout curtain will be installed along the profile of the dam. Three inch minimum diameter holes will be drilled from the foundation gallery to a maximum depth of 156 feet. Grout will be pumped under pressure into the holes to fill the cracks and crevices. The purpose of the grout curtain is to reduce the permeability beneath the dam and to assist in the foundation drainage system and to reduce hydrostatic pressures in critical areas beneath the dam, increasing the integrity of the foundation. When completed, the Portuguese Dam will be the first arch dam to be constructed in the United States and its territories using roller compacted concrete. An extensive concrete mix design was performed by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to establish the mixed proportions and the physical and thermal properties of the concrete. The construction will consist of placing the concrete in one-foot layers across the dam utilizing conveyors, dump trucks, and dozers. The layers will then be compacted using vibratory rollers. The Portuguese Dam project will require approximately 367,000 cubic yards of concrete to construct. 
Other features of the dam include an intake structure on the upstream face of the dam, a valve house with regulating outlets downstream of the dam, and a crest access road. During the project design of the Portuguese Dam, the engineers of the Corps' Jacksonville District worked with the Corps' Portland District. On the concrete mix design and materials testing, Jacksonville District worked with the Engineering Research and Development Center in Vicksburg, Mississippi. The architectural and engineering firm, Montgomery Watson Harzo, was contracted to perform the independent technical review. Additionally, the biddability, constructability, operability, environmental review was conducted with the assistance of experts from several core districts. The Jacksonville District also worked with the Corps of Engineers Computer-Aided Structural Engineering Task Group, CASE, to help develop Arch Dam software tools and design criteria. The task group was composed of members from the Corps of Engineers and the Bureau of Reclamation. The Portuguese Dam project sponsor is the Department of Natural and Environmental Resources.